Hey, it's Liam Killen, and let's get ready to lo-fi. Whether it's hip hop, house, new age, or even like indie music, a huge part of that lo-fi sound comes from the drums. So I'm thinking like dirty and degraded, a bit more on the darker side definitely, and a word that I hate to describe music, a bit on the warmer side as well. <laughs> and this brings me to one of my favorite lo-fi tools that I own, the Tascam Porter Studio 424 MK2. Even though this is like a clunky old piece of gear from the 90s, it's still worth it for how efficient it is when it comes to adding variation to your sounds, and specifically drums. It works really well for drums. Everything I'm about to show you, you could technically do in your DAW, but I would argue that the quality is really just not the same. When you start altering your drums digitally, you run into phase issues and your quality just kind of goes out the window. Whereas with this thing, that problem really just doesn't exist. I'm initially a drummer and I've recorded a bunch of one shots and beats on an acoustic kit. I've chopped them up and enhanced all of them with plugins and now I'm kind of curious how the Tascam is going to affect the quality of the sound. Before actually starting, I'll give you a little rundown of what I'll be doing. I'll be bouncing my one shots from my DAW into the Tascam, which is essentially a cassette player tamper with them in here, and then bounce them back into my DAW and see what they sound like. There's a few things that we could do within the Porta Studio to alter the sounds, and we'll be getting into that a bit later. Oh, one last thing, I would highly suggest that you use quality speakers and or headphones if you really want to hear the difference between these samples. Let's go through these one shots just to give you an idea of what they sound like. All of these samples are made from scratch and I could honestly say that even though there's like 4 million drum one shots out there, these ones are very unique, they have their own sound. I think you guys are gonna dig them. So we have a nice plethora of sounds here. We have three snares, three kicks, two rack toms, two floor toms, one hi-hat. So it makes up a kit that covers all the frequencies. Next, I'll be recording all of these into my Tascam. I'll make sure to record at a moderate level so that there's some headroom to mess around within the Tascam. There's also an option here for tape speed. So normal tape speed is a bit more degraded and lo-fi and high tape speed is a bit more high quality. But keep in mind that this is the 90s, so even hi-fi sounds a bit lo-fi. <laughs> Okay, great, so I bounced everything into the Porta Studio off camera just to save some time. And now we have a bunch of sonic options within the Tascam. So there's a pitch control here if we wanna pitch down our drums or pitch them up. There's an EQ as well. So we'll do our first pass using the normal tape speed here. I'm not gonna mess too much with the pitch control or the EQ. I might EQ a little bit, but mostly I'm just gonna get moderate levels. Okay, I'm happy with that. Next, I'll do the exact same thing with high tape speed. I gotta say that those sound f good. I'm gonna go back to normal tape speed and I'll mess with the pitch control. Usually for drums, I pitch it down. So let's, let's start with that. Oh, this makes me so happy. Okay, so back to high tape speed. Pitch control, I'll go all the way down to the bottom. Notice that I turned up effect two, which adds a lot of gain to the master, so I had to turn that down a bunch. Let's see what this sounds like. We could really dig into this if we wanted, but I think we have what we need for now. I'm gonna head back to my DAW and chop everything up. Okay, so everything's chopped up. Honestly, I'm super surprised and happy with how great these sound already. Once again, if you really wanna hear the difference, I would definitely recommend using headphones or quality speakers. So I'll start with the one shots that haven't been processed through the Porta Studio. Once again, these samples already sound good to start with, but these ones here sound much better, in my opinion.
One thing that really surprised me is that the higher tape speed is slightly higher in pitch than the lower tape speed, and it's also a little bit punchier as well. In comparison, I would say that the normal tape speed is just more degraded, a bit flabbier, and more lo-fi. High tape speed, <laughs> lower tape speed, flabby. So to wrap this up, as you can see, the Porter Studio is a great tool for sound design, especially when it comes to drums. These sounds here will definitely be included in my next sample pack, and I also have a free mini drum sample pack on my website, as well as a melodic one, so I'll link both of those down in the description. Once again, I'd really like to thank you guys for watching. I really enjoy making videos for you. If you have any suggestions, just let me know in the description down below, and I'll consider them for a future video. If you're into this sort of content, please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell if you want to hear more from me when I release new videos. If this is your first time here, I'd like to welcome you to the channel, and it's great to have you on board. Your viewership is super important to me and to this channel, and yeah, I think that's it. I'll see you in the next one.